Hi you guys, so today I will be showing you how to make this DIY pillow cover. Um, I got the pillow cover from Hobby Lobby and it was $5.99. If you have a coupon, you can use that 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. But I think this pillow looks so cute and it is perfect for the fall season. So let's jump right in. So the design I use for this pillow is actually already in Cricut Design Space. And what you want to do is go over to images and then type in, um, as you can see, it already pops up right here for me. But if it does not immediately pop up for you, just type in the word fall and then go over to ownership and click on free. And so um, as you can see, there are only seven results for um, fall images that are free. And this is design, the design right here that I use. If I click on this little eye icon, this is the um, number or the ID for this design. Um, I will put this design in the description box also. So I will just click on this design and then click insert images. As you may have noticed from the image on the front of this video, um, my design is all black. So first what I want to do is to use the color sync button. Um, but before I do that, I wanna go back over to layers and then click ungroup. And then I'm just gonna make this flower black. So I'll go up here and click the color black. Um, and then what I'm going to do next is to just select everything, go over to color sync. And then I'm just gonna move each piece that is not black up to the black. And so if you've never used color sync before, that's how it works. So all of your pieces are black now. Um, one thing that I did do over here is um, with this acorn, I did not like how that top piece was not um, connected to the bottom piece. So I'll go back over to my layers panel and then I'm just going to turn off um, everything that is not um, part of the acorn. Okay, so all of these pieces are connected. And so what I want to do is click on the shapes button and then click the square. And I'm going to slice out the acorn so that I can get it how I want it. So I will put this square on top of that acorn and just rotate it a little bit and I may have to zoom in some so rotate and then make my square smaller and then rotate some more Okay, so I think that's good. So then I'm going to select my design and the square and then click slice. So I'm going to delete out the gray pieces. And so this piece is by itself now. So I'm just going to turn that off and then I'm going to put another square on my canvas, make it smaller and then put it over that top piece of the acorn and then select my design and that top piece of the acorn and click slice. So now I can delete out the gray pieces again and I can hide my welcome piece. So then I'm going to turn back on my acorn and turn back on the bottom part of that acorn. And now you can see the full acorn right here. So I'm just going to zoom in and um, just gonna layer this um, bottom piece a little bit closer and then bring, yes, like that. Bring this piece over some, wait, let me click undo. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that top piece like it is. But then what I'm going to do is to take a circle, make it smaller and then make it black and then just duplicate that circle and put it over here on this piece also and i like how that looks now so i'm going to select everything and then click weld and now i am going to turn back on all of my other pieces of my design and there we are so i'm going to zoom out and this is what the final design looks like. 
So if you're happy with what it looks like, you can um, select everything. I'm going to use Command A on my keyboard and I am using a Mac computer. And then I am going to click the attach button and then click make it. And then because this is an HTV project, I do want to mirror. But before I do that, um, I wanna go back over and change the size in. So what I'm going to use is 11.5 and then the height will automatically adjust. And then I will click the make it button. And then again, because this is an HTV project, you want to click the mirror button. And then you will click the continue button. And it's looking for my Cricut machine. And then I will put my HTV on my Cricut mat and load it into my Cricut machine and cut out my design. Hey guys, so this is the pillow cover that I will be using for this design today. The pillow cover is 18 by 18 inches and it costs $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. If you have that 40% off coupon, you can use that as well. So this is what the pillow cover looks like. Um, I'll just open it up to see what the uh, material is made of. And that material is made out of 100% cotton. So what I'm going to do is to get my Cricut mat and my HTV. And because um, this pillow cover is a little big, um, I want to use um, a 12 by 12 sheet of Caesar Easy Weed. Um, and remember when you're using HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl or iron on, that you always put the shiny side down on your mat. So I'm putting that shiny side down and then I'm just pressing the sheet down onto my mat. And then I will load this into my Cricut machine and press go. So I am back and my design has been cut into my HTV. So I'm going to pull it off of my Cricut mat. And what I want to do is turn my mat over and peel the mat away from my HTV. Okay, sit my mat to the side and then I'm going to take my scissors and as you can see, I have some extra vinyl down here. So I'm just going to cut that piece off. Sit that to the side. Now what I want to do is to weed my design out. So first I'm just gonna start on the outside part. And um, what I'm gonna do is peel this towel up. Um, and I have this wood down because I have my uh, Cricut mat underneath. And I was starting to, um, with my heat press, it was starting to kind of mess up my um, Cricut mat, so I have this wood down in order to protect my Cricut mat. So I'm just going to weed this design out. Then I'm gonna use my little tweaksy, um, put it on my fingers so that I can weed the inside of the design. So now my design has been weeded and this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna sit it to the side and pull my towel back down and I can take this off. So first I wanna take my pillowcase and I'll just zip it back up. 
and I'm going to take my easy press and um, just get out these wrinkles. Before I do that, I want to take my lint roller and get off any lint. Okay, so now I want to place my design where I want it on my pillow. And I'm not really going to measure this. I am just going to place it where I think is about even. And I do have my zipper. The zipper is down at the bottom um, and that's where I want it. Um, so I'm just going to place my design where I want it on my pillow. And I think that's good. So I'm going to take my Teflon sheet and just place it over the top of my design. And then I am going to press for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to move my easy press over and press the rest of the design for an additional 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to put the Easy Press back on the base. Then I'm going to remove my Teflon sheet. And I'm going to let the design cool down just for a little bit. gonna grab a corner just to see okay so I think I'm just gonna peel it off pull off the carrier sheet and that looks really really good so I see a few pieces that need to be pressed down a little bit more so I'm going to take my Teflon sheet again place it over my design and then press again remove my Teflon sheet and this is the finished design I love it so much okay so now what I'm going to do is to put my pillow inside of this pillowcase and I hope that it fits and this is just a pillow that I you know just a spare pillow that I have um, so I'm going to try to squeeze this pillow inside of this case, so bear with me. So I think this looks really good. Um, I do need to fluff my pillow just a little bit more, but overall this is the final product. I hope that you all like it. And again, this design is in Cricut Design Space. Um, I did modify the design just a little bit um, so that it could be to my liking. Um, but overall, I really like how this looks. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do um, leave any comments down below if you have any. And thanks for watching.